Hello and welcome back to my channel everybody. Um, today I am going to do an ink swatching of the inks that I got from Venice Pens, or no, not Venice Pens, <laughs> um, from Venice. Um, a, they are an online um, ink and you know stationery fountain pen shop in uh, Arkansas, Little Rock, Arkansas, and they um, provide lots and lots of ink samples there uh, and they are four milliliter samples um, which is a really great generous amount of uh, inks and I feel like uh, four milliliters can really go a long way like I have my 50 mil bottles that I just feel like I'll never be able to finish anytime soon so um, I do have a lot of ink samples as well and I have used a few of them in my fountain pen so um, and you know, the, the ones in my fountain pens currently aren't even done yet, so four milliliters is definitely you know, all you really need um, to try out inks and use for a good, you know, long time. So definitely check Vanessa out if you want to um, try, you know, all kinds of new inks. Vanessa also tells you if the ink is wet, dry, or average flowing. That's uh, what I look for when I um, decide if this ink is going to, you know, go well into a drier pen that I have versus a wet, uh, a wetter nib on a pen. Um, and I typically try to find wet inks for my sailor nibs because they are so fine. Um, but average flowing inks um, are also really good. and. Uh, usually the uh, shimmering inks are the dry flowing ones that I see a lot, so um, yeah. okay, So let's open up this one. Oh, okay. There it is. Oh my goodness, I got a lot of samples today. What is this one? <gasps> I think... Did I get the, <laughs> I thought I got a sample of this. They just gave me a mini. Well, I guess maybe I did get the five milliliter one. Hmm. Okay. All right. Oh my goodness. Look at this cute little bottle. <gasps> I am definitely gonna have to um, use a syringe for this. <laughs> can't really fit any um, fountain pen nib through this little hole. Oh my goodness, yeah, this is tiny. Okay, so this is a cute way of presenting a five milliliter sample. <laughs> and then this must be the White Lightning that I bought. Um, white Lightning is a one of Vanessa's solution um, that helps increase the flow for drier inks. So it's for use in pore flowing or dry inks to increase flow consistency. Most effectively uh, effective when used at concentrations less than 1%. So uh, if you do get this, they recommend using just one drop for every like 10 milliliters. I won't use this today. I'm just going to put that away. Okay, so without further ado, let's open up all of this and just set them up. I have over a hundred inks that I've tested, and that's a lot. <laughs> I have so many inks. All right, let me know if you also have that problem, <laughs> having so many inks, but not really using all of them. But, you know, that's just one of the fun and joys of this hobby is, you know, seeing so many different kinds of inks and, um, you know, like when there's a new one or an old one that I haven't seen before and I'm just so excited to put them in certain pens and mix and match. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. So, <clears throat> okay. So this first one we'll start with is Wearing Ghouls Watery Star. Um, this is kind of a light blue. Um, it was it was it looked pretty and cute on the website um, but I don't know how it's gonna look on paper so we'll see this is a shimmering ink so I'll just sh shake it a little bit to spread the um, the shimmer a bit 
and I don't have a um, what is it? I don't have a stand for <laughs> these uh, ink sample bottles, so I'm gonna have to be very careful. Oh wow, it kind of looks a little bluish, or I mean purplish, so like a blurple. Now I know that using Q-tips is not the most, you know, not the not the best way to swatch your inks. It's it's the easiest way for me at the moment. It's all I have, but I do want to like invest in like a an ink swatching pen, one of those flat pens. Um, that'd be nice. Just one more layer. So that's about three to four layers that I'm putting on top. So you can see the shading. And then I have my dip pen here, so I can just dip it and write it. So this is Waringo. Watery Star. Ugly R, but whatever. Okay. I'll just do a little close up. It's it's a very pretty blurple. I really like it actually. And then we'll check it later to see if you know the shimmer is the shimmer looks subtle right now, but we'll see when it dries up. So this is Wearing Ghoul Stars in Autumn. It kind of looks like um, Pilot Orochizuku Tsukiyo. Um, it's like a navy dark blue, like blue black, um, not that black, and it's got silver shimmer. So I thought that this would look perfect in my Sailor Vega fountain pen, uh, Proger Slim pen. But because it's a medium fine and it's super, super fine of a nib, I don't think I'll put this shimmer in there. But it's it's a gorgeous looking ink on the website. So we'll see how this looks. Yes. <laughs> this is gorgeous. I'll have to compare this to Tsukiyo later. But I love this blue. Oh my gosh. Okay, the second pass is really dark. So this is a really saturated... Um, ink for shimmer I did not expect this this is gorgeous if this works well in some of my pens I may just get a whole bottle of this this is beautiful it's like the the night sky I mean it is stars in autumn um yeah so like the view of the night sky in September, October, with the stars shining in the sky. Oh, this is such beautiful. I love Wearingle's names. They just are very poetic. Stars in autumn. in autumn. Let's get a closer look at that. Make sure I'm in the camera view. <laughs> it's such a gorgeous blue. I mean, it's, it's, it writes exactly like Tsukiyo, but then it's got that pretty silver shimmer. Not sure if the camera's picking it up, but yeah, uh, if you like Tsukiyo and you like Shimmer, this is the perfect combo of the two. 
second pass, third pass, and the first pass. It's so beautiful. <laughs> this next one is Pilot Eroshizuku Chikurin. Um, I'm not a fan of like yellow greens or muddy greens, but I've kind of gotten a little bit of a, an appreciation for that green recently because it's just kind of like a nice muted toned down kind of green and sometimes it works sometimes you can have the feeling for this kind of a green even when you know you're not really into it but so just okay this is this is really pretty yeah this to me it, like makes me think of green foliage like in the spring and this is a piloting so it's going to behave super well in whatever pen you choose uh, if it's a super wet pen you can see gorgeous gorgeous shading yeah this is a really nice shading ink i don't remember if chikurin has any sheen but being a green color green ink. I, I don't really see a lot of green sheening inks. We'll, we'll see if it sheens into another color. Pilot. Hiroshizuku. Yeah, if you like a green in this range of green yellow, Pilot Hiroshizuku uh, Pilot Chikurin, this is an absolutely beautiful color. Next one is going to be. Um, from Vinta, Vinta Inks, Tandika, or Tan, Tandi, Tan, Tandikan, <laughs> not quite sure how to say that. Um, I think this is a purple ink, we'll see. I've been trying to get some more like purples and browns and different kinds of green because I tend to like teals and turquoises. Okay, so this is like a, a dark blue. Or it might be a chroma shading ink. I forgot which one it is. But it's coming off like a light. A, let's see. Okay. So it's a darker blue, like a smoky blue. Not too much shading. Maybe. But I like this color. It's it's like yeah, it's it's a muted blue if you love muted colors. This is nice. It doesn't pop out at you. And it's slightly changing colors a little bit as I'm just seeing it. So there's like purple hints of purple, gray, and blue in this. This is Vinta Inks. Tandikan. Yeah. It is more of a, a like a gray blue with some purple in it. So it's a soft muted gray blue. And I quite like it. Not sure where I would, which pen I would put this in, but. Okay, this one is a Vanessa exclusive from Vinta, and it's called Kiss Slap. Okay. I think this is a shimmering, so I need to sh shake it. Yeah, this is one of the gorgeous. Okay, the, the shimmer is green. Oh my gosh. 
So beautiful. So beautiful. So I appreciate um, inks that have shimmers that are not the usual silver, gold, um, you know, but those are really pretty. That's why there's so many of them. But if it's like purple, green, um, copper, those are just so interesting. And I would like to have more of those. Um, this one, I read reviews. It, I feel like it's a very light ink. Okay, yeah, it is. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's got like the... On the outside, it's a green, but then there's also hints of pink. Light pink. And then a second pass. We'll do a third pass. Oh, wow. The shimmer is really on the... The third coating. Yeah, and there's like green, blues, uh, and then pink, purple undertones. Oh, wow, there's so much going on in this thing. It's a Vanessa exclusive. If I really love it, we'll have to see if they have any more. Uh, this is Vinta, or Vanessa exclusive. Vinta Kiss Lab. It writes really dry. There's that. <laughs> so this one might need some of the white lightning. Um, but again, it is a shimmering, so that's to be expected. Um, that was a dry write, so I don't see any of the green in the writing part, but the um the swatch itself has a lot of green on the outside uh, and then the undertone is a purplish pink and gray so you will need a lot of a really wet nib to show off the shimmer i, I think the shimmer is this green that's on the outside here Am I on camera? <laughs> Sorry if I'm not in the camera. But here. Okay. So this next one is a dry ink that I uh, wanted to get for one of my wetter nibs. Um, and it's a pretty color as well. Um, this is Pelican Edelstein Aquamarine. Um, I have the Pelican Edelstein Appetite, which is perfect. Perfection is the most amazing color <laughs> of turquoise. And it's so wet. Such a wet ink. So it works in almost any pen you want. Unless you don't really like super, super wet. Oh. This is not what I expected. This is not aquamarine. No. I think they sent me the wrong one. I don't remember Pelican Edelstein Aquamarine looking like this. Do you guys? Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to contact them. Yeah, this is another, this is something else. Pelican. Edelstein. Aquamarine. Does that look like Pelican Edelstein Aquamarine? This looks like a chromo shading color. It's green, with some grays and blues. I remember Pelican, uh, the aquamarine as just like a teal leaning on the green side. This is not a teal. Huh. We'll have to email Vanessa for this one. <laughs> this is interesting. This never happened to me before, but it, I could be wrong. Who knows? We'll see. 
Okay, let's see. The next one is Kobe 64 Sumi Yoshi Uptown Jade Green. Now this one um, is a light green. It's almost like my, one of my favorite light green, um, Morningside Mint from Ferris Wheel Press. Um, I just wanted to see, I think this is also kind of a dry ink, but oh my God, oh my God, this is such a beautiful green. You guys don't know, like I, I love teals, turquoise, green blues, um, but more of the blue greens. This is a blue green. And it's so beautiful. <gasps> I might get a whole bottle of this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, if you love green as well, let me know in the comments. Um, what do you think about this green? This is called Sumiyoshi Uptown Jade Green. It's a long name. It's by Kobe, which is um, a Japanese brand. And they are a little expensive on the expensive side, kind of like Pilot Hiroshi Zuku inks. My god, that is gorgeous. I think I did too much of a similar pass here. I can't really see the shading. Okay, this is my favorite so far. <laughs> Kobe. It writes nicely too, so it's, it's not dry. Uh... Sumiyoshi Uptown Jade Green. Beautiful, just beautiful. It's bright. So I don't know if you would call this a medium, a uh, teal. They usually call it a medium teal if it's more on the green side, it is, and it is on the green side. Um, I wouldn't say that this is necessarily jade when it's um, on the wetter side, but the lighter, um, lighter swab here is kind of like jade. But it's beautiful! Wow! Anyways... <laughs> Enough about me gushing about this green. Um, I don't have any greens like this, so that's why I'm also so excited. Beautiful. Okay. If you like greens and this green, oh, it's kind of, I can kind of see some blue and yellow underneath it. So yeah, blue and yellows really make a green pop out. I love it. Okay, so I don't know when my camera <laughs> turned off, but um, here is the swatch and writing for the Vinta Peria ink. You can see it's just so magical, magnificent, but it's very light. So I don't think this is the most practical ink to use in a fountain pen. Um, but there is like this aqua teal on the outside um, of you know the swatch and then on the in inside it's pink so it it land or it it went down on the swatch as a green a really really light green blue um and then it chromo shaded into this purple such an interesting ink okay so now we have a shimmering ink here this is um, by Ancient Charm. I love Ancient Charm. Like, they have, I already have two of their shimmering inks, and I think they're all shimmering inks. Um, and this is, I got a green shimmer with gold, a uh, green with gold shimmer, as well as a red with gold shimmer. This one is more on the turquoise green um, with gold shimmer. Um, and that's more of my color, so we'll see how this looks. Okay. Yeah, the ink is really light and it does feel a little dry. But the color is nice. I like the color. Yeah. So on a wet nib, this color is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And we'll 
let it dry and you can see the beautiful gold shimmer in a bit. It's going to make this side a little more wet. Do some over here. Beautiful. This is called South of the Yangtze. So yeah, if you like teal turquoise with gold shimmer, this is it. Uh, Ancient Charm. It writes quite wet though, actually. South of the Yangtze. Try to write that correctly. Oh, yeah, yeah, Yangtze. I love it. This is beautiful. This is, um, reminds me of copper patina, but copper patina is more of a green. And this one is a teal blue. Beautiful. So beautiful. We'll, we'll take another look at it when it's dried. <clears throat> Okay, so I have <laughs> I have four more inks to go. Um, you know, if you've stayed this long, thank you so much. Um, you know, for continuing to watch this. Um, but also, let me just try to pick out the swatch cards that will match that, so that you know, if if I'm going to look for a certain color, that I can just look behind it. Um, and it'll still be in the same area. I, I organize my coloring by color, so. <laughs> so we'll use this for the C Europa. And then the Australis Rose. Let's try. Let's do Rose Gold Antiqua. Because I thought Australis Rose and Rose Gold Antiqua are like the same, except Rose Gold Antiqua has the shimmer. So that would be good. And then we'll just make Momiji on the other side of this Kosamosu ink. And then Hisoku is a light blue. Um, it might be good here. Because it's another Kiona Oto ink. Okay. Yeah, this is just my short term solution until I get another coloring. So let's swatch the Kyono Oto first. And this is not a shimmer ink? Huh. Yeah, no, it's not a shimmer ink. Okay. Camera, do not turn off on me, please. <laughs> okay, they gave me a lot. It's supposed to be four milliliters, but I'm seeing like five milliliters on some of these bottles. Okay, I saw some mixed reviews on this ink. Um, it's supposedly dry flowing. Oh wow, this this is a nice blue. It's like a, it's definitely pale muted blue. Um, so if you like to use some pale muted colors at, in the springtime, uh, I think this is a nice spring color. Can be used in the winter as well. I should put put so much. Okay. This is Kyo no Oto Hisoku. Okay, I quite like this ink. I. But again, you don't really know until you put it in a fountain pen. <clears throat> but it wrote pretty smoothly, but it did have a little bit of a, um, like, what is that word? Pre uh, there was some pressure as I was writing on it, so I think it is kind of a dry ink based on that. Um, it's kind of like <clears throat> my Ferris Wheel Press Morningside Mint, where when I put it in a fountain pen, and I would write with it, it had a little bit of a um, pushback 
and so it it doesn't glide smoothly um, and you can feel the pressure coming back at you so sometimes that is not a pleasant feeling and I did kind of feel a little bit of that here <clears throat> But the color is a really beautiful, like, um, it's like, you think about a rainy, cloudy day, um, right before the rain comes down. And the sky is this nice blue-gray. Oh, it's, it's pretty. It's really pretty. So I'm excited to try Momiji, because I, I was, um, you know, deciding between Momiji or Kosamosu at one point, and I went with Kosamosu, but I have not been happy with this color. I I don't think I like bright pinks. That's just not me. <laughs> um, but it might be good ink to use for painting, but like, Iro Shizuka inks are so wet, they are meant for fountain pens, so like, I don't know why I would want to paint with them. Um, but let's see how Momiji looks. Oh, wow. It's so vibrant. Okay. As it goes down, it's pink. <laughs> this is not red, Pilot. Um, but of course, if you put it next to pinker inks, I'm assuming it's more red. Okay. The second swatch, the second layer is red. So, like, you'll need a wet, a wet, pen for sure to see this gorgeous red. We'll just put a lot there to get the sheen later. This is when sheen's in, uh, has a gold sheen on it. Okay, so I do like this red um, when it's wet. <laughs> Not when it's dry. When it's dry, it's really pink to me. Oh, beautiful. It's a very vibrant red. Um, so if you like Writer's Blood or more of the burgundy reds, this is probably not for you. But it is really pretty still. Pilot Yoroshizuku. Momiji. You see that? See the difference? It's super red here, and then it's pink there. <laughs> so, this the red part, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The pink is actually nice too. Actually, like it's uh, it's better than Kosamosu, just because you know. Um, but I, this is the red I was looking for. Like, so gorgeous. And then I can start seeing, or you can start seeing the. Um, gold sheen. It's so nice. Okay, Robert Oster, Australis Rose. Oh no, I already put something on the back with this. Oh. <laughs> That's fine, I have another color very similar to it. Robert Oster Rose Guild Tint. We'll use that. Oh. Australis Rose. This is not a shimmer ink. This is supposed to be the non-shimmer version of Rose Gold Antiqua. Love that color. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> I love dusty pinks. Um, so if you are also a dusty pink lover, um, this is it. This is one of the, uh, you know, one of them. On wetter swabs, it is more of a dustier pink. On a light, uh, drier ink or drier pen, it is more pink uh, than it is a dusty pink. Nice shading though. It is lighter than Rose Gold Antiqua. This is Robert Oster. Uh, 
Australis Rose, right? Yeah, Australis Rose. <clears throat> Well, I guess after it dries, it might look the same. Who knows? We'll see. But absolutely love this color. Wow. Um, like, I love Rudonk. But this is a bolder color. Okay. All right, Rudonk. Finally, I get to test this cute little bottle of C Europa. Five milliliters. All right, let's see if my swab can get in there, actually. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know. I do know, yeah, it went in there, okay. Oh, yeah, this is peach salmon. Very peachy. Okay. It's different, so I like that. I also do like peach uh, colors so you know hence why i bought it <laughs> um but of course like i need to also buy things that i am not quite fond of just to see if i do like it this color in multiple swabs turns into this really orange um salmon peach color i like it a lot actually more than the pinkish peach drier part of the swab okay this is is this is this color verse yeah i think so <laughs> oh it's kind of dry yeah okay color verse c europa but i love it i like it oh my gosh to see Europa. It's definitely very orange, um, but also very pink. Yeah. Here, it's very legible, so I think on regular medium and fine pens, Western, would look good with this ink. Um, if you go with a broad, obviously, it'll you'll see all the different kinds of beautiful colors that will show <clears throat> but then if we compare it to yeah Ruby Dunk, it's definitely more of a bolder peach orange color and it's also darker okay let me close this up and we'll do one last look at everything sorry this has been a very long video <laughs> um, we'll let that dry for a little bit And my camera stopped again because this video is too long. <laughs> okay, and this is Wearing Ghouls um, Stars in Autumn. Again, simple silver shimmer. Really pretty. Yeah. Um, this is definitely a fall, darker toned color, and it's gorgeous. This is Wearing Ghoul's Watery Star. It is a very light blue ink. It's kind of almost periwinkle. Maybe it is. Uh, the shimmer is a very light blue, but I think it's just silver. Um, it's very subtle. So if you like subtle shimmer... This is it, in a periwinkle color. It's nice. And then the last shimmer ink I have is Ancient Charm, south of the Yangtze. Yeah, the shimmer is really noticeable. So um, if you want a pop of shimmer, this is the ink to choose. Um, the, the base color is also gorgeous. It is um, a teal green. Um, but it's also, it, it's pretty um, bright of a teal green. 
So. <clears throat> Okay, and then I have Kyo no Oto Hisoku, which is the, you know, the nice spring um, muted gray-blue. It's really pretty, so pretty. Um, and we just saw the Australis Rose. Bright, bold, dusty pink color, like a rose. Yeah, this is definitely a beautiful rose color. Vinta Peria, um, I don't see myself using this ink to write with, but it is absolutely beautiful in terms of chromo shading, so I think painting with it would be, would give you lots of different cool results. Um, yeah, if you want to use it in fountain pen, go right ahead. <laughs> it does feel like it would write really lightly though. And my favorite green, it dried up a lot darker of a green. It, so when writing with it, it's beautiful. And then it dries to this really nice, soft, um, like woody green. Not really a woody, but um, I guess it's definitely kind of like the darker jade uh, green color. I do like it a lot. Can't wait to use this in one of my green pens. <laughs> <coughs> and then we have Palette Hiroshizuku Chikurin, um, this nice bright uh, green that makes you think of forests and foliages. Um, really pretty, um, but it's also very simple. Um, so if you like this kind of green, this is a nice simple yellow green. And then the last two, Pilot Hiroshizuku Mamiji. Um, the sheen is so strong that because like to get this nice red color, you're going to have to deal with the sheen as well. And I like the sheen is just too strong for me. It's pretty, but then it masks out the pretty red color. Um, but I think in writing, like you can see here, this red is really nice. So it might not be as bad <laughs> when we write with it. And then see Europa. Oh wow! It became like a like a blood orange red when it dries. Um, but again, I don't know color too well, so if if it's something else, <laughs> please correct me. <laughs> um, and again, I forgot to say this at the beginning, but um, <clears throat> ink through you know ink color through cameras are not the most accurate, so. Everything you see here may be a little different in person, but what you do see here, if it's pretty, then it most likely will be pretty in person as well. <coughs> and really nice. But yeah, uh, and again, here is the um, the Fail Pelican Edelstein Aquamarine. Um, let me know if you guys know what this color is. I don't know where it is. Well, that was a lot. Uh, thank you so much for joining me in swatching all this ink. It was so much fun to do this, and I hope you guys had fun looking at the colors with me. Um, yeah, and uh, if you liked, uh, enjoyed having fun um, looking at these inks, please leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment um, on you know what you like uh, in terms of ink color, what you look for, what you're having trouble um, trying out. Uh, yeah, I would like to, you know, read your comments and respond to them. So thank you again and have a great day.